Um, the first one is a tensiometer, and so it measures um, how much surface tension there is at an air-water interface. Uh, water is a very polar molecule, so you know when like you have water in like a small container, mm -hmm. it kind of like runs up the sides and has a meniscus. That's because there's a lot of uh, force, like a lot of interactions between the water molecules at that surface. Um, but if you ever introduce like surfactants or proteins to that, um, like when you add soap to water, um, the surface tension of the water decreases a lot. Okay. Um, so we can use this machine to measure um, how much surfactant or protein is at a surface um, based off of how the surface tension changes over time. Okay. Um, and then the second thing I'm working with this summer um, is this really awesome machine. Um, we just It's one of 40 in the world. Um, wow. So it's made, uh, I can't remember. How'd you get, how did OSU get its hands on that? Um, so we, our lab wrote a grant proposal, mm -hmm. um, and then OSU, their research uh, like office, has uh, grant money okay. that you can get to get new machines. And we also uh, have a grant, I think, I can't remember if it's from the National Science Foundation or the Na National Institute of Health, but those two organizations sure. give a lot of funding to so yeah, so we got this baby, and um, it uses like glass slides, mm -hmm. um, and then you just can like flow different um, solutions past the surface to see how they'll stick. Mm -hmm. um, so I think my lab notebook's over here. Uh, sorry for the weird. No, noise. you're fine. Sonic stuff. Um, yeah, and then how many people are in this lab at a time usually? Um, you, this, it depends. Our, so our lab has three grad students right now and two students visiting from South Korea okay. and three undergraduate students and then a visiting professor. So I think there's, they said like 13 people working in our lab this summer, but mm -hmm. usually it's only like four or five during the school year. Um, but here's an example of like kind of the data I get from like the owls. So like this is like there's nothing sticking to the surface, mm -hmm. and then when I put protein in, a bunch of it stuck, and none of it really rinsed off. Um, and so that's what we'd like to see is, like, if we use a different type of surfactant, that we'd have less protein sticking to the surface, and that it would be really easy to recover the protein. Okay. Um, so. And then, um, are you planning on getting, are you hoping to get published after this? Yeah, yeah. So hopefully um, by the end of the summer, I'll be able to write a manuscript and have it published. Have Cool. Does that go, uh, are you talking for the catalyst, or are you talking for by no, your professor? Yeah, or? so our, I would probably, I'd be the first author on the journal article, and it would be probably published, I think we're looking at, um, like, a pharmacology, okay. like, peer-reviewed journal mm -hmm. uh, for this article. Great, so, yeah. cool. Okay, I'm going to take you off here. Awesome.